Hey guys, it's Melanie, and today I have a review for you of Bath & Body Works White Barn Apple Flower. Now this particular candle is only available in the three wick, like it's not available in the minis or the mason jars. So um, if you do want to try it, the three wick is your only option in that. I picked this up at the last two for 24 sale about a couple of weeks ago. And I went ahead and grabbed it because I've heard some mixed reviews on this particular candle, so I just wanted to give my perspective on it. I would say that the reviews really tend to lean much more towards the, like, this candle is just a dud overall. <laughs> um, but I actually have heard a couple of people say that they enjoy it. So, um... When I first picked it up, I was really surprised that I really liked it on cold sniff. When you smell it cold, it smells like fresh apple and like spring blossoms, like, and just very fresh, very clean. It is very much like the ultimate springtime candle when you're smelling it on cold sniff. So I was really surprised to be drawn to it. So I picked up two just in case I would end up loving it. And this is my second day burn here on the candle. So one thing that I do want to say about this particular candle is that the first time that I lit it, it took about an hour to pull out. Now, those of you that regularly burn Bath & Body Works candles, you know that's kind of unheard of. Like, most Bath & Body Works candles will pull out completely within, like, 20 minutes max. Like, and normally, right around 10 minutes, like, you get, like, an even, like, one end to the other end, like, even wax pool. So it took a very long time. And even on the second day burn, which is today, it took, again, close to an hour to completely pull out. So that is very, very different. I'm not sure why that's happening, but uh, that seems to be very <laughs> consistent every time that I light the candle, that it just takes forever to pull out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read the description to you guys, and then I'm just going to kind of share my personal experience with it. So the description reads, a pretty springtime blend of soft pink apple blossoms, crisp apple slices, and green citrus leaves. There is definitely that leafy note in there as well. I don't know that I would necessarily call it like a citrus type leaf scent. It's more of like a fresh spring leaf kind of scent, if that makes sense. You definitely get those apple slices and you definitely get that pink apple blossom scent in there, especially on cold sniff. Now here's where the problem comes into play with this candle, at least the one that I have sitting here in front of me. I don't know if this is a batch issue, but when I light this, there is a chemical note that comes through and I the closest thing that I can compare it to is um, nail polish. <laughs> it smells like nail polish or like varnish. It's really disgusting. Um, you definitely have that like same like apple, like pink apple blossom, like scent behind all of that like chemical smell so it's just a w really weird combination of like yes i can smell like the original intent for the candle but then i also smell like i'm painting my nails like it is a bad combination of those two and i don't know what's causing that i don't know if that is like the concentration of like the oils being off in this candle or if the wicks are causing that scent issue. Some people have called it like a kerosene type of scent. I I wouldn't compare it to that. To me, it's much more like a, a true nail polish note than anything else. I really don't like it. Um, so it, this candle just seems to have several problems for me. The first that is that it takes a really long time to pull out. The second is, and the biggest, is that that chemical smell that starts to kick in probably at right around an hour once it pulls out is just really like it's hard to smell because it's very prominent um the throw also is kind of an issue not that i want it to be a good thrower <laughs> because clearly like 
I, I feel like if it threw any better, it would probably give me like a giant migraine. But I would put the throw at only about barely a seven. Like I'm talking barely a seven. It's probably more of like a 6.5. So it's really not a strong thrower either. Um, so overall, this candle was just a dud for me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to return it or not, only because the last time that I went to Bath and Body Works and exchanged two candles, um, it was two candles where the wicks had completely drowned and the candle wasn't even halfway burned. Now, I rarely return candles to Bath and Body Works, but the sales associates were really kind of like snotty about the exchange, and I've never, ever had that experience before because... I rarely return or exchange candles. Like, I don't ever actually flat out return candles. I always exchange them for something else because I just assume that it was like a problem with the batch or something. I kind of give them the benefit of the doubt, but I've never had the associates be quite so like huffy about doing an exchange. So I'm not sure if the individual stores are getting pressure about returns or what the deal is but it just really kind of made me uncomfortable and so I don't know that I'm going to take this one back. I may just kind of try to suffer through it. I have also actually thought about since it smells so good on cold sniff I had thought about putting it in the freezer and um popping it out of the glass and breaking it up and seeing if I could like melt it in a wax warmer. I'm wondering if I don't have the flame, if it wouldn't have that chemical scent to it. So I may actually sort of sacrifice this candle and try that and report back to you guys. Um, because like I said, when it's not burning on cold sniff, it smells really good. Um, which is kind of the bummer in all of this is that I think they have a good smelling candle, but it just kind of gets ruined once you light it. And um, that's obviously not the purpose of lighting a scented candle. So anyway, so this one gets two thumbs down for me. I really, with the amount of like bad um, reviews that I've seen about this particular candle, I just think overall like there's something wrong with the formulation of it. Um, so I don't think it's worth checking out. I really hate saying that because I hate like saying that something sucks. <laughs> For some reason that makes me feel bad. I don't know why it shouldn't, but um, it's probably because I actually really wanted to like it. I do like it a lot on cold sniff and I definitely encourage you to smell it when you go in store because it's one of those ones where most people would be like, oh, that smells really fresh and clean. It totally smells like spring, but once you light it, that goes away and it really honestly is probably going to be headache inducing for quite a few people. So overall a dud. I'm not going to repurchase anymore. Um, worth a try, right? <laughs> but yeah, I will not be picking up any more of these. If you tried apple flower, definitely let me know what your experience was with it down below because I'm curious. Um, like I said, most of the reviews that I've seen have kind of called it out as being a little bit of a dud. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.